competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth BMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. The newest addition to the BassCat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Bass Cat Boats. Feel the rush. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard to find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse. Click, save, fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pole. All right, welcome into the Bass Boat Technologies BAM Trail. This is Championship Sunday at Mark. We're up here today right now. Thank you for coming out here. We really appreciate all of you that showed up. Everybody that's tuning in out there in YouTube world, we really appreciate you. We've got 10 of the best anglers on the West Coast. They went out there today on the beautiful Lake Martinez in Arizona, and they have brought it. We were out there filming today. Over the last three days, we have watched some major changes. All three days we've been filming. All three days there have been changes and changes and changes. We started out with 25 mile per hour winds. Then we went to almost no wind. Today we're again no wind, but the water dropped. Mark, as an angler, as a guy who's been out there and had to deal with these conditions, tell us a little bit about how this has made all of this go around and what did they have to deal with today? You know, that it's just tournament fishing i mean and, and that's just what happens so it was 85 degrees on wednesday thursday was really nice friday cooled off 66 degrees 25 30 mile an hour winds the next day still wasn't too hot the winds laid down today got hot the winds laid down even more so it just makes for challenging conditions i mean not only is it harder to catch fish day after day after day, then the conditions change and that makes it that much harder. 
Um, and these guys, this is the third day they've been out there, and they're pounding on these fish. I mean, they're working it. They're catching as many fish as they can because we have a dual format. So on today, a lot of them probably ran out of fish. And so they're really working hard to, you know, a lot of them, I'm sure, are going to come up and say, it was a struggle. I ran out of fish. I had to wing it. And some guys are going to wing it, go by their instinct, and they're going to do really well. So this is a dual format tournament. One side is weight, the other side is keepers. Okay, the highest, the guy that has the five most keepers, the top five guys with the most keepers, fish today. The top five guys with the weight, fish today. And then, now we zero the weights, everybody starts at zero and goes back out again and has to do it all over. Of course, the guy with the highest weight is not happy. The guy with the lowest weight is really happy. So, you know, but we think it's an even playing field, makes for a great show, a great tournament, and it really makes these guys work for it. Yeah, I mean, Zach Thompson led with 22 pounds on day one. On day two, he brought another 22 pounds on the scale, bringing in 45 pounds. He had a 10-pound lead going into today. Guess what? He got to the dock this morning, and that 10-pound lead, gone. We went out there. We dropped it down to zero. Said, everybody, you got to go out there and catch the five biggest fish you can catch. And we talked to Zach when he's on the water out there. And let me tell you, he wasn't happy about it. But like Mark said, the guy who had, uh, oh, I don't know, no weight also but was in 10th place, super happy. It's going to be a great event out there. These guys went out there. We watched them fish hard today. A lot of things changed. The first day they said the wind was up. They weren't really seeing as many fish. The second day, they started to see them come up as the wind died down. Today, they're seeing you were watching over. them. Yeah, if you guys just go walk around the marina, we live around here, you'll you'll just walk on a dock, any dock, you'll see bass swimming all over the place. This place is just loaded. It's an awesome fishery. You guys are very fortunate to have such a great fishery. Bass guys, I, I mean, I can't imagine a bass guy going out here and going, eh, I don't feel like this this stuff is just <laughs> it's it's amazing you know this we, is well, just we amazing to, we talked to every one of those fishermen these like i said before these are the top 10 best fishermen on the west coast yes, sir. and every last one of them was out here going you know what lake martinez thank you for having us here when can we get back because they love coming here now i know we're standing in fisher's landing i know we've got lake martinez right around the corner i know this is the columbia river but you know what? Uh, or Colorado River. Sorry, that's my bad. Started with this me. is this hey, we got another one coming up up there. So, this is the Colorado River. I will tell you right now, every one of those guys wants to come right back here to Yuma, Arizona and do some fishing on it doesn't matter what the name of that water is. They want to be back out there doing it. Yep. You know, even the guys that struggled, I'm going to tell you, the guy in last place, he wants to come back. Oh, yeah. All these guys love it. So we're going to tell you that. We had Mark Pilgrim in last place. Yeah. And I'm telling you what, he wanted to be back here. You know, funny thing is, is that we left a couple of guys. We were out there oh. filming today. We left a couple of guys that were fishing for some really, really big fish. I mean, over 10-pounders. Yep. And those fish are super hard to catch, especially when you're looking at them and they're looking at you. They're not, you know, they're not. Yeah. They're really, really hard to, hard to catch. But. These guys are fishing for them. A couple of them found some good ones. We'll get to see if any of them really pulled off one of those big bass. Oh, yeah. Are you excited to see what these guys brought in? Everybody that came out from Yuma, Arizona, are you happy here? You want to see what your, your lake has to offer? What your body of water out here, what you guys have brought? Are we ready? We're ready. Let's go. What do you think? Guys in the back, are we almost ready? Thomas? Oh, you're not on the back anymore. He's up here. This is the first time I've got to see his face right there. Look at that. We got Thomas doing double got, duty. We got guys ready to come in right now. Taking care of the weights. So Thank you for doing a great job. We're gonna. So, uh, I'll tell you what we're gonna do, Mark. We're gonna go to a quick break. When we come back from this break, we're gonna start weighing fish. And by the end of this whole thing today, everybody sitting here, everybody watching at home, we're gonna crown you a brand new Pro Tour champion. They're getting that big old nice Look at trophy. this. Yeah. If you can see right here, that's the championship trophy they're taking home. How much money are they going to get? 15 grand. 
$15,000 is going home with one of these anglers today. Now, I may have cost them a couple hundred bucks to drive down here, but I guarantee you they'll take home $15,000 and be happy with it. Of course. So welcome to the Bass Boat Technologies BAM Tour presented by Tackle Warehouse. And when we come back, we're crowning a champion. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth VMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal Lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. The newest addition to the BassCat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Bass Cat Boats. Feel the rush. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard-to-find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse. Click. Save. Fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line, and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pole. Welcome back to the BAM Tour. All right, guys, this is your Bass Boat Technologies presented by Tackle Warehouse BAM Trail. Thank you for coming out and watching. Thank you for tuning in. And in just a minute, we're going to start weighing some fish. We're going to bring up our first angler. He started in 10th place today. What? Mark Pilgrim started in 10th place, what it tells me. 
You start. You started. Okay. He started in ninth place today. <laughs> the screen is wrong. It's telling me tenth. We're gonna move him around. Anyways, Mark, why don't you come up here and weigh some fish? He's got a what? Well, we think he's going to move to first place. If they don't catch anything, they stay right where they're at. If you're just looking out here right now, now Mark went out there and he he worked hard today. I, I sat there and watched him for a while, took a little bit of a nap and watched him for a while. Mark, do you have a big fish in there? I don't have a big one today. I will say this much. We're going to set these up on the scale. Big fish today mean nothing. But we're going to have you set your weight up in here. We're going to figure out what your weight is. Mark, your weight is going to be 10.93. 10.93. Now, set those in there for just a second. And let's talk this out a little bit. I sat out there. I watched you fish for a little bit. I know you told me I gave up on you and took a nap. But, hey, you know what, Mark? Sometimes fishing can be a little boring. <laughs> Especially when you're just watching. All I wanted to do was fish and fish and fish. But you sat there and you looked at some good fish today. You found some good fish today. Hey, you're standing on the stage on Championship Sunday. You've got <laughs> you've got 10.93 right now. Right now, that puts you in first place. 10.93. We don't know what all these other guys are going to come in. You know these other anglers. You've fished against these other anglers. You've watched some of these other anglers. How are you feeling right now about taking home that championship, and how was your day of fishing? I'm feeling like I had a blast the last two days, and I wouldn't have changed today for anything. I found a giant out there, and I stayed on it, and I wish I would have caught it. I didn't, but uh, I think these guys are going to uh, I think they're gonna weigh in some, big, some good bags. <laughs> All right, Mark, do me a favor. Reach into there. Hold up a couple of these Lake Martinez fish. Show them what hard work gets you when you come here. All right, let's get ready to give it up. Mark, hold a couple of those Lake Martinez fish up. Right there they are! Hard work and dedication gets you on this stage. Even harder work gets you five fish. Now, I know you have a few sponsors you'd like to say some things, words to, thank yous, and things like that. You had some people come down here to support you. Give them some love, man. Hey, first of all, I want to say thanks. I want to say thank you to this group of guys. They do, uh, they do an amazing job, and they work their butts off out here. They were out here, I don't even know what time this morning. It was early. So thank you, Mark Lesane. And this guy right here, I, we, I met him on a a po the podcast about a month ago. And, uh, you know, he's just he's doing a great job up here, and we've got to be thankful. Uh, i got to thank my sponsors, Eternal Lithium, Lake Almanor Ace R uh, Hardware, uh, Diversified Resources, uh, Lake Almanor Boat and RV, uh, P-Line, Wicked Weights, my title sponsor, Big Bite, uh, P-Line, I think I said, Riley's Jerky, Plumas Pines, First Gen Fishing, Bill Lewis, and Hooked Outdoor. I got to thank again my wife who follows me and stays with me. And my brother who showed up and cleaned my boat every day. That was pretty cool. <laughs> and, uh, you know, my family back in Chester, my family in Prescott, my family all over the Midwest. I had call after call last night and text, and I, I'm sorry I didn't, you know, respond to some of those messages, but uh, got to say thanks to you guys, and uh, I'm, sp I'm in first place. <laughs> Mark, for however long it lasts, if you walk off that stage real slow, you'll be in first place a little bit longer. But I'm going to tell you, man, I watched you fish out there. I watched a lot of these guys fish out here. Tell us a little bit about what you think. How big was that fish? Because I know I have never seen somebody go into complete shock when that fish just um, tick, almost tick, tick, tick. That's all I heard for a long time. <laughs>
You know, it was funny. Um, the camera boat actually rolled up on me right when I got into on this bed, and I pulled the male off, and the female was, I would imagine the female was 12 plus. It was could have been 14, I don't know. It was, it was big. And um, my time management today is what really got me in the long run. I stayed on that fish for three hours. I hooked it, I hooked it twice. I lost it twice. I finally gave up on it. And then um, I chased a couple other big fish that wouldn't bite. And I did see one bigger than that one afterwards. So there's some absolute giants out there. Lake Martinez, give it up for Mark Pilgrim right here. He did a heck of a job out there. You're in first place right now. Great job. Great job. That's where you're going to sit. Now you can just sit there for a little bit. This is his family right here coming through. Is that where we're going to hold them? Okay. The next angler I've got coming up here. is Mr. Bill O'Shin. Let's give it up right now for Bill O'Shin. He's going to come with these fish. Put those fish in there. Let's see what weight we got. Bill, you're not going to take over the lead, but you've got 9.63 today. It is a grind out there. Set them down in there real quick. And you and I are going to discuss some things here. Bill, I've seen you out there fishing. We watched you fish right here in in a second, we're gonna we're gonna have them we'll hold some fish up and show everybody out there. Give me one quick picture. You went right there at Fisher's Landing. We saw you there for a long time. Did you spend most of your time there today? No, I I uh, started there every day. Um, today I only caught one and I, I rolled out pretty quickly. And I I actually I've been fishing uh, upriver in some backwaters and when that water fell out, I couldn't get in. So I had to just scrap that and just go fish community holes today and. You know, I had some good bites, and for, for whatever reason, I just couldn't keep them hung. So just one of those deals. It's just a fishing story, you know? All right. Reach into that bag. I'm gonna Hold up some of these Lake Martinez fish. Some of these fish that you sweated over for three days. Some of these fish that it took major effort, major time, and work for. Hold them up right there, because those are those Lake Martinez fish. All right, Bill, take those with you first, or we'll take those in just a second. I'll have, I'll have, I'm have my runner here. I make Mark run. Come over here for a minute. <laughs> We're going to look at that crowd. Now, three days, it's been tough. It's changed a ton. You're standing up here top ten. You're one of the best anglers on the West Coast. What were the changes that you saw and went through, and how did it change your bite every day? You know, it, honestly, it was just the drop in water. I, I really, I've never been here before. I wasn't prepared for that, and it just really kind of affected me. So, but you know what? I don't want to talk about the fishing. I want to talk about this crowd and this place. You guys are awesome. I tell you what, I like to party, and I know I'm amongst my friends around here. You guys are cool. This place is really cool. Um, you know, actually, my wife is from Yuma, and I, I'm going to have to go home and tell her I know why you're so awesome because. You came from the best place ever. This place is so cool. So thank you guys for having us. All right, Yuma. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for giving it up. Bill, thank you for coming out, man. We really appreciate you. You don't quite get to take that hot seat away from Mr. Malk Pilgrim. He's going to have to sit up here in the beautiful Phoenix sun. Woo, brother. Sweat it out. They're waiting. Nah, we're keeping that shade back. <laughs> And we're going to bring up our next angler, though. This guy's ready. He wants that big trophy. All these gentlemen out here, all these, these 10 great anglers, they all want that trophy. But Conrad Demekis is coming up here. Conrad, get up here. Let's weigh some fish. Get him on up in there. Conrad, you've got today. You had zero pounds to start the morning. When you walk out of here, you're going to have 8.92. Now, let's have you put that in there real quick. Grab a couple fish. We want to try to do this here. We're changing everything we kind of do the way we do it, but we're going to make these some of the best shows you'll ever see. 
Hold those up right there and show them off. Thank you, Lake Martinez, for letting us come down here and play with your fish. All right, Conrad. Ah, they're close. There we go. They can't go anywhere. You've already caught them. Yeah. All right, man. You came out here. Again, there's been so many changes going on. Here's this. There's so many changes going on. How did it affect your days, and how have, how did you enjoy fishing this body of water? You know, I get you know I get to come down here about once a year for a local derbies, and uh, usually it's in January. So this is my <laughs> first time out here in the April May ish, and uh, this place I could see why these guys catch big bags here in the summertime. Um, I tried to fish ahead all week and uh, try to see where they were going. I know you know some of these fish come out here; they spawn in December and January. So, you know, when we were here in January, I was catching bedfish. So I know that there's fish, you know, trying to get out in that summer deal. Uh, and uh, I just looked for it all week and never really found it. And kind of just found ways to catch fish to keep, give me time to keep looking for that. You didn't quite get to take the hot seat away from this guy right here. We're going to have to let him sit up there a little bit longer. You came out, you made the top 10. You're standing up here as one of the best anglers on the West Coast. These guys out here are all the, some of the best. The 18 that went home are some of the best. You got to compete against them. How does that make you feel about coming out here? And are, do you want to come back to this lake? Absolutely. I think this is one of the best fisheries in the West Coast. And a lot of the guys that came from California and Oregon, you know, they kind of said the same thing this week. So you guys have an awesome fishery. Uh, it's a privilege to be able to fish against these guys that I've been watching fish for the last 15, 20 years myself. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the next one for sure. All right, Conrad, we can't wait to see you at our next event. Thank you very much, and we will have you have you back. Happily have you back. Thank you, everybody, for the round of applause for this man right here. And keep it coming because I tell you what, I got the next angler coming up right here. He was out there working hard. He loved playing on this body of water. Cameron Carver, come on up here and let's weigh some fish. All these people out here in beautiful Yuma, Arizona, want to see what you got. They want to see what the fish that they gave you to play with. Come up here and show them exactly what you think about their lake. Let's set them up in here. You have a big fish by chance? No? You got what? You got a big fish you want to weigh on? No. Okay. These fish go in there. Oh, man, you had zero to start with. You're going to walk out here with 14.20. That is good weight right there. Let's see where that puts you. Where do you think that puts him? Yes, they're paying attention, everybody. I love it. He's going to take that hot seat right there for Mark Pilgrim. Mark, do me one favor. Well, you know what? Stay there for just a second. Reach in this bag, Cameron. Pull out some fish. Show them off to this crowd that's out here that wants to get wild and crazy and see what you've got. All the people out there on YouTube that are watching, this is what Cameron Carver thinks about Yuma, Arizona's Lake Martinez. That's what he thinks right there. All right, set him back in there for a second. I'm gonna hand. I'm gonna do this for you, Mark. You're gonna have to step down off the stage and take these with you. <laughs> Good job, my friend. All right, now he's up here. I'm gonna give you this real quick so I don't lose it. He's up here right now. He's got a little something, and I'm sure there's a story that goes with it. So I'll tell you what. I'm gonna hand you this mic, and I want you to tell the story and tell us how you feel. Okay, well, uh, we're going to make a new story here. I'd like uh, this young gentleman here in the front row with the black and white hat on. Come on up. Come on up, please. I've got an Owens Corning Pink Panther. This is what goes out when I make the cut. That's for you. That's awesome. Owens Corning does a lot to keep me on the road, and I sure appreciate it. So. All right. Well, give some love to your sponsors. <laughs> give some love to your fans. And tell everybody out here how these last three days have been for you. Oh, man. Okay, let's start with uh, a little more love to the guys at KMI and to the guys at Dynamic Fabrication that keep me on the road also. I uh, appreciate everything you do for me. MacArthur Building Company. Oh, man, those guys are tremendous, a tremendous help for me. Um, so yeah, so um, 
but I don't think anybody wants to hear about that. I think everybody wants to hear about the fishing as it goes anyway, right? They all want to hear about fishing. All right. But wait. You know, that's not necessarily true. It takes sponsors, great sponsors, Bass Boat Technology. All these guys are coming. I know that you're, look at that, my mic goes out. You want to borrow mine? Yeah, let me borrow yours for a second. All right. It takes all these sponsors. All these fans out here come out to see you guys fish. They're all here. They love to see the fishing. They want to hear about the fishing. But it's in their backyard. They want to know what they're going to do the next time they go out. But you know what? Just like you said, it takes all these sponsors. It takes all these sponsors. So give some love to them. We absolutely want it. Tell your family how you feel. That's all right. And you can talk about them for just a little bit. And then tell all these people sitting here how they go out there and catch some Martinez fish. All right, we'll build the suspense a little bit. So, I'm a big thanks to my wife and my and my son and my two daughters. They uh, they're also a big support for me. This kid's got a basketball tournament this weekend, and I'm bummed out that uh, I'm missing it. But there is only one place I'd rather be than there, and it's right here at Martinez. That's for certain. So, um, so um, I want to talk about fishing. I don't know about everybody else, but let's just get to it. Let's so. Yeah, I, uh, I sure wish that we would have had this wind earlier today. I spent the uh, the first day uh, keyed in on the wind. I've, uh, I've won some events here in the past, and every time the wind blows, it just makes me happy. So uh, I was really looking forward to yesterday, or day before yesterday, and did well. Uh, day two, the wind died, changed baits completely, changed areas a little bit, tried to cover some new water, and uh, was able to catch enough bass to, to make it to today. Right, and uh, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, whatever, um, I burned through all my fish. I didn't have anything left. Today was uh, a new day. It was a cold start, going out for nothing and just fishing and trying to find something that was left over. And uh, luckily, the rest of these guys, they left a few morsels around, and I was able to go uh, scoop them up. You know, it's not, uh, it's not always that easy when when you're around a bunch of guys. They can catch them real well. So I was fortunate to get what I had today, and I'm I'm, I'm happy to be here talking about it. Yeah, you know, I keep saying this, and I can't reiterate it enough. You're competing against ten of the best anglers right now. Now you had to compete against twenty nine to get here. Eighteen of them you sent packing. <laughs> well, maybe not yourself totally, but you know what? He did. He sent him packing. And he's up here right now in the top ten saying he's one of the top ten. You're at your home body of water. Well, maybe not your home body, but your home states anyways, right? My favorite body of water. There you go. You went out there. There's a bunch of guys waiting. You're going to go take a seat in that hot seat row there, over there. You got 1420. There's a few guys out there. There's some big names out there. You've been competing against them. Yep. You know who these guys are. Tell all these people what you think the chances are of you being sitting in that hot seat at the end. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Confidence. That's what we want to hear. Confidence. Yeah, there's there's some guys I hear that uh, that sacked him up pretty well today, and uh, and my hats off to him. You know, I, uh, I I appreciate those guys that, uh, that that show you that you're you're just not on the top all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Cameron. Let's have you go right over there. Take a seat. Hold on, because our next angler he wants that chair. Thank you, everybody, again, for coming out, supporting us. But let's bring our next angler up here. This guy was our day one leader. Then he came up, dropped a huge weight again, decided he was going to run day two. Mr. Zach Thompson's coming up here. Zach, set those fish right there. Now, you started off the day with a 10-pound lead. Like, you had a bunch of fish. I got it. Um, you had a bunch of fish out there. You were 10 pounds up, and then we, uh, I don't know, pulled the wool off from under you and made you zero again. How did that make you feel? Well, you know, I was, I was around a lot of fish, and uh, I thought I would be able to catch a good bag in today, and I fished 100% clean. I didn't lose any fish, didn't miss any fish, but unfortunately the size just shrank up. That water dropping hurt my bite, and uh, I stuck with it, and it just didn't work out, so we'll see what I got. Well... You went from zero to 10.68, 10.68. Now, if I look real quick, that's not going to move you into the, the top spot. You're not going to take that seat. But what I do want you to do real quick, Zach, is take a couple of those out, 
thank these people out here that showed up by showing them off some of the fish you went out there and caught. Lake Martinez, there's your fish. All right, Zach, now, the first two days you dropped some big weight on here, and it seemed to be right. Come over here real quick. I need you center stage. I want you talking to all those people out there. And you, your beautiful wife is watching. Your kids are watching. I want to know, break it down a little bit about how this all went down from day one to day three and how come, you know, you're up here. 1068 is nothing to sneeze at, but unfortunately it's not going to put you in the top. You're actually tied with Mark Pilgrim right now for a second. How'd this go for you out here? Yeah, you know, um, I want to say hi to my wife. I want to say hi to my kids, my parents, Frank, my father-in-law, DCR Propeller. Uh, I want to say thanks to the people who support me, uh, St. Croix Rods, Seven Reels, P-Line, Costa Del Mar, Spear Point Hooks. Um, you know, I'd never been here before. We don't have any practice in, in these events. And so I came out and uh, just put the boat in the water and went fishing. And I, I stumbled onto a really productive pattern, flipping and throwing a chatterbait. And I stuck with that the first day, and it did really well. And then yesterday, did the same thing, kind of changed up the area a little bit, but expanded on it and kept catching fish yesterday. And I think I just burned through most all my fish today. I don't think as many fish that live here, I don't think the areas really have a huge population. And then the water dropping didn't help either. But um, so today, I just rolled the dice and fished as hard as I could all day long. And uh, like I said, didn't, didn't lose any fish, didn't miss any fish, just caught smaller fish today so overall it was a great event i want to thank mark i want to thank everybody here at bass angler magazine and the, the pro tour and you know if if we didn't have something like this to fish out west you know it'd, it'd be a real shame so I'm, I'm glad that he's out here helping us do this thanks ed um but yeah and the crowd here has been amazing every day you guys all coming out and supporting us and cheering i mean this is this is a great place to have events and the fisheries phenomenal um i'd love to be here on a couple days of stable water but i guess i don't know if that ever happens um so maybe next time if we come back i'll have a different game plan but it was a lot of fun i just flipped a half ounce weight and beaver style baits and then threw a three eighths ounce chatterbait and uh i caught the big fish yesterday on the three eighths chatterbait it was almost nine and i caught my big fish the first day about almost six and a half or so uh flipping flipping a beaver just up shallow where the cane was overhanging the bank and there was a little bit of wood a little bit of the buck brush or mesquite whatever those little bushes are if there was wood sticking out into the cane that's where the fish were and today all that stuff was out of the water so it is what it is well zach i watched you out there fishing today you look like you were a little bit at home man like you loved having that rod in your hand you love flipping those bushes flipping pitching that sort of thing that is your type of fishing yeah you know i, I come from the delta and it, it lays out very similar only we have this nasty thing called a tide there which you have to manage every day. And I feel like out here, you don't have the tide, but you get this up and down in the water just throughout the week. And so it's probably a lot more similar. And if I had some more time to spend out here, maybe I'd figure it out a little bit better. But I had two phenomenal days. I mean, 22 pounds a day, two days in a row. That's a world-class fishery by far. So you guys should be proud of what you have and enjoy it and take care of it. All right, Zach, thanks for coming up here. You know, I. I can't tell everybody enough. This guy has trophies on his wall right now. I've seen them. They're big trophies. He is a heck of an angler. There are a lot of really good anglers. This is one of them right here. If you look right over there, there's Cameron Carver. Unfortunately, you don't get to take his seat right now. But, man, you're going to be back up here. You are one of the top ten anglers this weekend especially because you're up here on the BAM stage, man. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. We'll see you at the next event, Zach. All right, guys, that is the top angler right there. You know, you come out here, these guys have to work very hard. Very, very hard to get where they're at. And it's tough to walk off this stage, but his head is still going to be held high. He's going to come back. He'll be at our next event in Albanor. He's going to go out there and do the same thing, work really hard. And that is no exception because our next angler has been all over the country. He's been all over the place fishing. Ish, are you ready to waste some fish? Then let's get up here, bring those fish up here, and let's show this crowd that showed up at Lake Martinez how it's done. This gentleman coming up here, if you guys don't know who he is, Google it and find out. Because let me tell you, he is one heck of a fisherman.
Ish Monroe coming to the stage. Nope, let's put up in here. Let's get you a weight, Ish. Your weight's going to be 11.27. Oh, so close. But not quite going to take that hot seat. We're going to make him sweat it out just a little bit longer. I'm going to set these over in here real quick. We'll have you pick a couple of those fish up. We're going to have you show them off to the crowd out here, to all the people at home. This is some Martinez fish. Ish came a long way to get them, and he got them. But there they are. Ish Monroe showing off some Martina bass. All right, Ish, break this down a little bit. Everything's changing. You know, you like it when it, get, when it changes up a little bit. You're one of those guys. You're a big – everybody kind of knows him as a frog fisherman. Did you get any of them out there today? Uh, I got a couple frogs. Oh, I did catch a couple frog fish today. Um, things actually changed for me as well. Uh, I'm running about 30 miles upriver and lots of sandbars, booby traps, and uh, a lot of crazy stuff up there, places – pretty dangerous to get there. I mean, even the place that I'm trying to get into has a sandbar out in front of it. And so I've been fishing around here till it's light gets up halfway decent, and then I'll take off and head up that way. But uh, today I took off a little early and I saw the water, I went to Ferguson and saw the water was back pumping. That means that they were actually, what they're doing is they're shutting the dam down here and they got the dam open up there. So that means water's pumping in. Well, my fish seem to like it when the water is actually pumping out because it drags them out because way, way up there, I mean, there's just lots and lots of reeds, and them fish get way, way, way back up there where you almost can't get to them. I mean, I was getting 20 to 25 bites a day, uh, flipping a missile baits D-bomb, throwing a jackhammer with a uh, missile bait spunk shad on the back, and then today I could not get bit flipping at all. And so uh, first thing I did is I pulled out a plopper and bought my third cast. I catch a three-pounder on a plopper. I'm just like, River to see Whopper Plopper, it's on. And you go about another hour and a half later, and you don't have one. And I call that the trap. And you get caught up in it. And so then I'm flipping again, and all of a sudden I was like, you know what? It's starting to get warm. It's about 12 o'clock. Let me pick up a frog. About my third cast with a frog. Oh, three-pounder eats it. I'm like, all right, here we go. They're going to eat a frog. So then I go and I start fishing a frog, fishing a frog, and I'm seeing fish around, but they're not doing the same stuff. The fish, during when the water was coming down, you could actually see them sitting on these points of the reeds and sitting on the wood and the points. And then the day they were not sitting there, they were actually kind of roaming around, just kind of wandering, and they were just moving the wrong way. And I could see them swimming back. And so I fish for a while longer, and I'm like flipping, nothing, nothing, pick up the frog again, catch one more on a frog. And then I was like, time to go, I run back here, I catch one more back here on a missile baits drop craw, uh, last fish of the day, and only had four today. So it's a tough deal, but I want to thank my sponsors, Skeeter, Yamaha, Loran, uh, missile baits. Oh man, I got a lot of sponsors on here. Sims. Um, but I do want to thank Bass Angler Magazine and Mark for doing a, such a great job. This is a phenomenal event. And for all the guys that are wishing they could be here, you need to get and sign up for the Pro Ams and get yourself here on the BAM Pro Tour because Mark does a fantastic job and you've done a great job too. So we'll give you a little credit as well. And uh, I want to thank my wife. She's been a trooper. This is her first time driving the truck and the boat and she's been rolling around like a champ. And once I get her to be able to back down, we'll be all good. I want to tell you, there are people out there who are dedicated to this sport, and this man is one of them for sure. He's been all over the country fishing. You're not seeing somebody that's only fishing on the West Coast. You're seeing somebody who's fished everywhere in the world now, right? Yeah. I fished Japan. I fished Italy. I fished Spain. Um, no bass in Costa Rica. I did catch peacocks while I was down there. Uh, fished bass in Japan. Um, trying to think of where else. That's it I can think of. So this guy's been all around the world, and he'd made one heck of a decision this weekend. He did something that not a lot of guys would do, but he brought his wife up here. They came all the way down the child, and then he left her alone with me and Mark. <laughs> he let us go out there and use his beautiful wife to be out here helping us do all the camera work, filming, that sort of thing. She was out there stranded in the boat with us. And I want to thank her because she did a heck of a job. Thank you, Oxana. We really appreciate it. Ish, thank you for letting us borrow her. And, hey, 
great job out there. Sorry it didn't work out to be the champion, and you don't get to take his seat, but you did a heck of a job, man. We really appreciate you being out here. We'll see you at the next one. All right, this guy sat right out here for a long time fishing in this little uh, Fisher's Landing area. Mr. Carl Okerman, come on up here, Carl. Carl, you came in with 0, 0.00 pounds. Today, you've got 15.93. Now, I'm going to set these down here real quick. Oh, shoot, I got it. Now you're going to have a little bit more of it. All right. It's still 15.93. Look at how much water we Well, I've got a 1593. Okay, I'm going to change what that. Is it? It's 1593. Okay. Even though that says something different. Just because I put it in the water. I'm going to set these down real quick right here. <sighs> Carl, you, um, you know what? I'm not even going to be the one that tells you. Let's let these people out there. Where did that put him? Number one right now. You're going to make that guy get out of the sun that he loves so much. You're going to take that seat. Cole, tell us a little bit about how you did it today. I saw you sitting right out here. We watched you fish. I know that you know about Fisher's Landing and what it has to offer. Tell us how that went today. Well, yeah, it went, went pretty good today. Uh, fishing's getting tougher out there. A lot of guys have uh, rotated through. I don't know, there's probably, last couple days, probably 15 boats in here. Uh, today was a little bit less, but it's got a lot of fishing pressure. It's harder to catch them. Uh, the, the guys were filming me live. I uh, dumped a four pounder off, and then uh, the last hour I lost a six pounder and then another four. So I would have had a really good bag if I could have could have got them in. But that's fishing. Well, I'll tell you what. You still had a pretty good bag. Put you in first place. Hike a couple of those. Take a couple of those fish out of there. Let's show them off to the camera out here. Let's show them off to these people out here, and let's show them what you think about their great lake. All right, Carl, I'm going to take those fish over here. I'm going to give them to my runner. We're getting, keeping these fish. We are taking very good care of your fish, so thank you for letting us use these. We are putting them back so you guys can go out there and catch them. We've got the owner of the company doing the work. That's a, that's a great owner right there, right? Now, step over here with me. Look at all these people out here, all these people that showed up. What do you think about this fishery? Are you ready to come back? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely ready to come back. Uh, next time I come down here, I'm going to get a little more practice in. Uh, the first day of the tournament's first time I've ever been out here. So I got super shallow, just started looking around and just started fishing. And now we're here on day three. Carl, I'm going to let you go over there and kick him out. He, I, I, I can't do it myself. <laughs> Carl Okerman is your new leader right this second. He just knocked out Cameron Carver. And our next angler, he's been a champion on this tour. Our very first champion as a pro-am, but now he's got to step up against 10 of the best in the country, as far as I'm concerned, but at least 10 of the best in the West. Let's bring him up right now, Mr. Greg Gutierrez. Greg, let's set these fish up here. All right, Greg, you had 0.00 pounds. You need a leader to be over 1593. Was it 17 or 18? No, it's just 1452. Good weight, Greg. Not quite enough to take that seat. Pull a couple of those out there. Let's show them off to the people watching on YouTube. Let's show them off to the people that came out from Yuma that want to see their fish. There they are. Camera. All right, everybody. That's what it is right there. Now, this guy's been a champion. Here's this. Let me give you this tag real quick. We're going we're gonna, to, the boss is right here. We're going to drop this off. I'm going to make him work. Hey, that is the owner of the company, and you can see it right now. I don't care. I'm making him work. <laughs> now, Greg, you've been out here for three days. You like it when it gets tough. You like it when it gets great. You have been one of the top anglers for a long time. You've represented not only the West Coast. 
You've been on the East Coast. You've represented the world. You've represented the United States of America three times now. Let me, what? The, you want it, you say it. I'm going to let you tell all these people how good you are. You, you talk yourself up, my friend. We're going to clean this up. I represented the United States in the, uh, a, the national fishing team for the Bass Euro Cup. Like they have the Euro Cup for golf, tennis, and bass fishing. And I was a uh, team member three years in a row. So there you go. Hey, I, I, I'm, I'm, I just want to go through I want to go through the laundry list real quick. i got to thank Bass Cat Boats, Mercury Marine, um, BioNO Batteries, and Lawrence. That setup for me has just been dynamite everywhere I go, um, and including here. It just navigates the skinny water really well. I get around really well. I mean, it's just uh, it's a fast boat, and it eats up time, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, equipment, I'm using all iRods, and uh, I just came over to Seven Reels. They are a premier reel company and just amazing. It allowed me to cast into the wind on that first day, uh, throwing a spinner bait, and, and it was just incredible. Uh, bait companies, Frenzy Baits, uh, oh, little, little, sorry, higher mic. Hey, everybody wants to hear you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, Frenzy Baits, um, Duo Realis, Reaction Innovations, and, 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 and a bunch more. But I just wanted to just give you the full, the quick down and dirty. I was throwing a spinner bait for this entire event. Um, I pitch and flip where I could. Sometimes I'd throw a nail in if I missed a fish. But um, the spinner bait in the wind was the key. Um, I was fishing around the same areas as Zach Thompson was. And what I noticed was the water was starting to pull out and the fish were moving out to the ends of the little stick out. So instead of flipping in, I was just running a spinnerbait right by it and the fish would come out and eat it. So I was taking advantage of fish that everybody else was pushing out to begin with. So anyhow, that was it. Uh, gamma line, um, man, it allows me to flip with 16 pound test. It's really cool. Um, I can horse out big fish with it. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for everything. Way to talk me up, bro. Greg, hey, you know how much I like you up here, but I got to give every one of these guys love out there. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm telling you, you're sitting in second right now, so that means that Carl Oberman right there, he gets to keep that seat. For the first time, I think, in a while, I don't get to put you in that seat at all. I know. I'm That's got to hurt. I should have came in earlier. Are you willing these guys out here that came out from Yuma, they have this great fishery. They have Lake Martinez. They've got Fisher's Landing. They've got the Colorado River. Are you willing to come back out here and fish? This place is dynamite. I, I love it. Um, it fits my style. I love flipping. I love chunking and winding. Um, and you can finesse fish here, too. Um, but I, I'll be back in a minute. You guys invite us back. I'll be here. Well, I'll tell you what. Greg? If they don't invite you back, we will. But thank you. We'll see you at the next event, my friend. Thank you. Woo! That's a lot of good anglers so far. We got a few more to go. And I think we're going to start right now with Mr. Colby Pearson. Colby, set your fish up there. Now, to start this day, you had 0 0.00 E15.93 to take the lead. You ready to see what you got? Colby, you've got. The new lead at 16.29 is what you got. Carl, he's going to take your duck. Just stay there for a second. I'm going to make him take it away from you. Put those fish down in here real quick. Pull a couple out. Show them off to the cameras. Show them off to the people watching out here because they want to see what kind of fish they let you borrow for a day. But they want them back. Colby, there they are. Lake Martinez, you did a heck of a job of raising a couple of fish right there. Good job. Thank you. All right, Colby, here's this tag. I'm going to give these to our runner. When I come back over here in just a half a second, I'm going to start asking you some questions about how you did it over three days of really tough conditions changing. You've been here, what, 20, 30, 40 times for sure, right? You're here all the time catching fish. 
Oh, wait, maybe not. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how it was for three days out here fishing on this great lake. Uh, awesome fishing down here, Lake Martinez, Yuma, Arizona. I'm 1,100 miles from my house. I've never been here in my life. Um, there is some similarities to back home. One thing I did get on is the first day I was fishing towards the back of Ferguson. I actually went up to like you have, you, you can't go any further. It's impossible. There's a little creek back there. It's tiny. Um, I noticed some fish guarding fry. I got keyed in on that super quick. So I was able to catch a lot of keepers the first day. I think I had 15 or 16. And uh, that kind of secured my place going into the day two in the top 10 for keepers. And I really tried to grind out that area on the second day. I caught maybe seven fish or something like that. And uh, I was so confident that I was going home. I actually got in my truck and drove all the way to Blythe. So I, I took about a four-hour trip yesterday after weigh-in, kind of bummed out driving home. And, you know, it is what it is. And then uh, today went out, had a, a phenomenal day out there. Um, I actually didn't have a single fish at 10, so I can't say phenomenal day. But I did scrap something together towards, uh, you know, the evening. And... Uh, caught quite a few fish, tried some new areas. I just tried to focus on uh, backwaters that guys wouldn't go to, um, not because they were hard to access, but because they just took a long time to get into, and it really seemed to help. I was fishing for fish that maybe weren't as pressured as some of the other areas I was focused on. Um, I fished in Ferguson. I tried to hit this morning, and it, the water was just too low. I couldn't get anywhere near them. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Well, Colby, there are some kids been, out, been around here. All We've all seen them out here running around. There's one sitting out here right now. Give us a little bit about what it takes to be up here on this stage. They all think it's super easy. They can catch fish all the time. Did you have to put any work in at all to make it to where you've made it right now? You are standing on the BAM Trail stage as one of the top 10 best anglers on the West Coast for sure, if not in the country, which I proclaim you are. How fun and how much work you got to put in to be here? Yeah, so much work. Um, I actually can't believe how hard it is. I started bass fishing when I was probably five years old. I've loved it my whole life. It's the only thing I've ever done. I've never deviated at all. I've never done anything else. Literally, I've fished my whole life. I saw tournament fishing on TV, and it's all I ever wanted to do. Um, I started fishing tournaments when I was 10, so I'm 30. I've fished tournaments for 20 years, and I've never been able to win a, pro a Pro-Am or Pro-Tour event yet. I've made so many top 10s and become, just come so close so many times, but um, realistically, align with people that are involved in bass fishing, uh, bass clubs and th stuff like that. I mean, I credit getting into tournaments so young to uh, one of my best friend's dads, Brett Hansen, uh, got me in a club when I was 10. So, All right, Colby. Right now, what I'm going to have you do is walk over there and push Carl down off the stairs. He's going to take that chair for a quick second. Colby Pearson right now, he's sitting in first. He's got an opportunity to win this event. There's a couple other anglers coming. Or wait, how many more we got coming up here? I'm looking, let's see, one, two, three. All these ones seem to have weights next to them except for one. He comes from Oakley, California. He's ready to come up on the stage. But wait just one second right there, Nick. Because we're going to crown a champion, but we're going to crown a champion right after we take this break so don't go away because when we come back it's going to be either nick cloutier or it's going to be colby pearson stay tuned competitive anglers powered by mercury pro xs outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined with lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. It's the moment when everything is on the line and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water. Power Pole. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard-to-find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse. Click. Save. 
fish. Because it is just a second. One, zero. Let's bring it back and let's crown a champion right here in Yuma, Arizona. Bring it on up here, Mr. Nick Coulier. Nick, come on over here real quick, Colby. Set those in there in a minute. Now you need 1629. Nick, you need 1629. Everybody, he needs 1629. We're going to set this down and see who our champ is. Nick, it's going to be this gentleman right here, Mr. Colby Pearson, because 1497 just won't quite do it, sir. That is your Martinez champion right there. Nick, give that man a handshake at least for you. You guys came out here and you competed in one heck of a for the next last three days together. But we're going to give you your time on the clock for just a second. Hold a couple of those fish up. I'm not going to just let him walk off with that trophy. I'll get him back up here talking. But we're going to give Nick a little bit of time here. We're going to have him show off these Martinez fish that he worked so hard for. There they are right there. All right, Nick. Too fast. <laughs> well, you're going to be here for a minute, Nick, so take your time. Show off those fish. There you go. There's some Martinez bass right there that Nick Cloutier came out here and worked hard to get. All of these anglers that came out here, all 29 of them, they came out here and they worked hard. Nick, tell us a little bit about how you did it. Thank some of your sponsors. Give your friends and family some love. Man, you worked hard out there. You deserve it. And I'm going to give you that time on the stage. I'll even give you my mic. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, this is a really cool place. Um, it reminds me of my home on the Delta. Uh, you have the current, Thule, shallow fishing. Uh, so I, that's what I did. I just I treated it like it was the Delta, and I just ran banks with a chatterbait for the first two days. And then I kind of tried to do something different today, caught a couple bed fish. And I said, you know what? The biggest fish I've caught this whole event came on a chatterbait. So at about 12 o'clock, I picked it back up, and I just burned the bank. Um, ended up with 1497. Uh, congrats, Colby. You know, this place is awesome. It's really cool getting into those backwater areas. Uh, I've never experienced anything like that the whole time I've been fishing. Uh, but I, you know, hats off to everybody that came out. I appreciate it. You know, my wife at home with our two kids, they've been having a great time while I'm gone. <laughs> but um, I miss them and I can't wait to get back home. But uh, I have to thank the people that get me here. You know, it, I have some of the best companies that support me. Uh, Ranger Boats, you know, I get all my boats from Gone Fishing Marine and Dixon. Mark and the whole team, they keep me on the water. If anything were to go wrong, I call Mark up. He gets my boat in and out. You know, big support from them. Uh, Vince over at Phoenix Rods, you know, the Phoenix Rod line is absolutely incredible. Uh, they're not expensive, but they feel like a three, four, five, six hundred dollar rod. So, hats off to Vince you know thank you for the support uh, Thomas over at P-Line and first gen you know he anything that I need I call Thomas up and he gets it to me instantly you know this is what I'm talking about when people are helping us out you know all of us up here we all have people that are helping us out and these guys I could call them in a you know split second and it's in the mail so you know thanks to everyone my brother at the bass hole it's a tackle shop in uh, Bethel Island on the Delta no, I'm missing some because I always do this. Oh, G-Rat. Yeah, big shout out to the boys at G-Rat because they are who got me here on day three. Uh, all my day one bag was my biggest bag at 1852. All came on a chatterbait with a G-Rat mixer trailer. All the fish, it had a part in every fish that I caught this week. And, you know, those, same thing. I need something, call them up and it's at my door so thanks to everybody thank you guys congrats colby nick great job out there and right now i'm gonna have you walk past that trophy knowing it was so close my friend but thank you <laughs> we're gonna come up and we're gonna bring your lake martinez the first ever the man who just set history 
at the Bass Boat Technology presented by Tackle Warehouse. That's your champion, Colby Pearson. Colby, you did it, man. You just said a couple seconds ago that you haven't got a Pro Tour win. You haven't got any of these accolades that you've been wanting. You just did it, my friend. Great job. Tell us how it feels. Oh, it's amazing. And I mean, it's just, I was fishing today and I was like, man, I made another top 10. I always describe my fishing style as like hard to kill because a lot of times I enter these third days of these pro tour events and I don't really have a lot going. I kind of ran through all my fish. I caught everything that I could catch and just staying really resilient and, and scrappy and, and hard to kill is kind of what kept me in the mix today. I mean, I was facing low water and sandbars and getting into places I'd never been. I fished all new water today and uh, kind of got, got forced to do that. It's not what I wanted to do, but um, it's an amazing fishery here. Um, I just wanted to thank some people that helped help me get along the way. Uh, Craig at Wood Brothers Carpet and Flooring, um, excellent uh, carpet and flooring dealer based out of Northern California. Um, probably one of the most supportive companies to fishing in the West. So if you fish in the West and you're in Northern California, at least give them a shot at your business. Um, they definitely deserve it. They do a lot to help me. They do a lot to help the tour. They do a lot to help all the anglers. Um, Discount Tackle, uh, they came on board this year. It's awesome to work with a, a formal tackle retailer. Uh, they're based in uh, Northern Oregon, so I can get my orders in about a day or maybe two. Um, everything's discounted, so if you don't have a lot of pro staff deals, you can get on Discount Tackle and you can get some good discounts there. Uh, Loophole Eyewear stepped up this year as well. I've worn them for about three to four years, so to have them on board officially is, is massive. Um, Garmin, I've, I've done so good in so many events using my Garmin Live Scope. Unfortunately, I knocked it off on a log, so first thing on day one, I didn't get to do it. Um, you know, thanks to my mom, thanks to my sister, uh, grandparents, um, Swim Bay Universe, Phoenix Boat, CNC Marine. Thanks to Bill. Bill's like my big brother. I met him a couple years ago, and he's just one of my best buds. So um, I couldn't have done it without him. He's always uh, helping keep me lined out and, uh, you know, booking all the airbnbs and stuff because that's too technical for me and then uh shout out to nick wood he's our other travel partner i um, wish you were here nick but i'm glad that i showed you how to work youtube the other day so that's you're making some steps in the right direction and, and we'll get you there i promise i showed him how to order uh, at taco bell the other day too so nick's making some big leaps so watch out for nick at the next one and i know he's driving right now i hope you watch it uh shout out to thad uh, my tournament partner he's the man um yeah, I'm probably forgetting a bunch of people, but uh, thanks to everybody, and it's amazing. So let's just do it again. All right, Colby. Well, one of the other things we're going to do, if you guys don't know, there's always contingencies out here. Garmin came all the way out here. That's their rep standing right over there. Everybody turn, look at her, give her a raise. But she did a great job. She was out here for these guys. Well, they put up a contingency. And not only did you win that trophy, not only did you win almost $15,000, Garmin has given you a couple big checks. They're hard to cash this way, but don't you worry about it. You hold those up right there and show them off because they, well, he just won an extra 500 bucks in contingency money from Garmin over there. That's why right, all you kids watching, you can make a living at this sport. You may have to work really hard to get here, but if you want to be one of the top 10 in the country, just like Colby here. Hold those up one more time. Mark's over here. Talk about people that need to learn all kinds of electronic stuff. We got Mark over here. There's the pictures. That's what we needed right there. Colby, I'll take those back from you. They Trust me, we'll give you smaller ones. They cash those easier. Thank you for coming out here. Thank you for destroying this thing, making it great, having a lot to say, and teaching Nick Wood all this stuff. That's right, Nick. We got you too. Hey. We appreciate you. Congratulations, champ. Thanks. All right, man. Take that trophy with you. Oh. Okay, he can do. You want to do it up here? He needs a couple more pictures. Do you need him up there? You got him over there. All right, we're gonna get this wrapped up in just a second. We're taking a few more pictures with the champ, the brand new Bass Boat Technology Bam Trail Champion. All right, Colby, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We're going to do one more. We have one more contingency. Bring him on up here. Mr. Carl Okerman, Bass Boat Technologies has stepped up. 
And if you're running their equipment, they do a lot for us, and they're going to do a lot for the anglers. Here's an additional $500 that Mr. Okerman's going to walk out with on top of his second place up here. That is nothing to sneeze at because second place with against these guys is a tough one. Carl, thanks, man, for coming out. Thank you for supporting Bass Boat Technologies. And th we'll see you at the next event, friend. Sounds good. All right. Ready? All right. That's it for today. That was our way. And we're going to give everybody that has a trophy coming to them in just a little bit. Thank you for tuning in out there, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the show. And we'll see you at our next event, Lake Almond. <laughs> All right. Competitive anglers powered by Mercury Pro XS Outboards have won more bass fishing tournaments than all other brands combined. With lightning quick acceleration, legendary reliability, and lightweight design, Pro XS has everything you need to travel farther, faster, and harder. Spencer Lazar here to explain why you need eternal lithium batteries in your boat. The cost of our batteries over their life is a fraction of dead acids or AGMs, providing five times the power at a third of the weight. We use a high quality Bluetooth VMS and grade A cells, giving us the confidence to offer a 12 year industry leading warranty. Eternal lithium provides peace of mind that you've got reliable reserve power to keep you safe and give you a chance to win. Contact us now for a free power consultation. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times and continue the tradition? You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Randall and I want to talk to you real quick about choosing the right electronics mount for your bass boat. And we know the quality and effort that Van Foster has put into this company. So what you get is a custom fitted mount, not some mass produced universal mount for every bass boat out there. Seat pedestal plugs, tool holders, steering wheel spacers and battery trays are all made with the same attention to detail that Bass Boat Technologies is known for. Check them out at BassBoatTech.com. You'll be glad you did. The newest addition to the BassCat STS family is here. Introducing the Caracal STS, showcasing aggressive styling, paired with enhanced performance and a continued dedication to raising the bar. Measuring in at 20 feet 2 inches with an ultra-wide 96-inch beam and rated for a 250 to 300 horsepower engine, the Caracal STS boasts agility and speed and is finished with premium features to satisfy any angler. Bass Cat Boats. Feel the rush. Tackle Warehouse has been the premier online tackle shop since 2003, with a huge selection of not only the latest and greatest from the biggest brands, but the hard-to-find regional specialties as well. Tackle Warehouse. Click. Save. Fish. It's the moment when everything is on the line, and precision, power, and control make all the difference. A moment over 20 years in the making, anchored on loyalty, trust, and support that goes beyond all expectations. A relentless pursuit of perfection, all born from a revolutionary idea to help you rule the water.